Dumaguete Agape Chinese Christian Academy, DACA, is a school born from a vision to mold young children's character and build excellence in them as they make a difference for Jesus Christ in this world. DACA's vision started with God placing a burden in Elder Agapito Kang's heart to provide quality Chinese Christian education and most importantly, a spiritual formation for the children in our community. It translated into the appointment of five individuals from the church council to be a part of the school board. DACA is a non-stock, non-profit educational institution and an affiliate of the Institute for Foundational Learning, or IFL. On October 2011, DACA was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The school's temporary venue was still at Dumaguete Christian Church then and had nine pioneer nursery school pupils for the first school year. It was only in March of 2013 that the Department of Education recognized the preschool education program of DACA. Through God's leading and prompting, in January of 2011, the Dumaguete Christian Church, by faith, purchased a 1.6 hectare lot in Hunub, Dumaguete City, which was dedicated to the Lord and named it the Akapi Place. Construction of the school's first floor, as we know it, now started in August 11, 2015, and was completed in 2018 just in time for school year 2018-2019 to start in June of that year. Just last school year 2019-2020, DACA's newly opened elementary department took flight, but was abruptly interrupted by the pandemic nearing the end of the school year. It would have been DACA's most awaited 10th founding anniversary last September 2020, but instead of having something grand, it was replaced by a simple celebration where the teachers and staff presented a tambourine dance. But simpler does not mean less blessed. On the contrary, it even highlighted God's faithfulness all the more. Because despite of it all, God held Dapa through. It never dampened anyone's spirits but made us all the more hopeful and grateful for God's daily sustenance. The pandemic affected everyone and took the world by surprise and shook it to its core. But God, in all his faithfulness, still transitioned the fledgling school quite smoothly and gave wisdom to the teachers and staff on how to adjust to a phenomenon that is way beyond man's control. The teachers attended webinars to better equip themselves to teach in the next school year and adjust to this new normal that would entail teaching to now be done online. They're learning the ropes on having to deal with kids. Yes, kids, who at their age are universally known to have short attention spans. These are the things which the teachers have done that worked best in their cl virtual classrooms. First of all, before the start of the school year, the school offered bridging classes in reading, writing, and mathematics, as well as Mandarin. This program has hit two birds with one stone. The first one, the pupils after about three months of being away from school were given refresher courses. The second one, the school piloted the platforms that would be used as classes will be in full swing. Agape kids, as what we call the pupils, were motivated to start every virtual class and were enthused to learn the lessons through songs. Round and round and up and down, the fairies will we go. Round and round and up and down, come on now, don't be slow. Have a ticket in your hand, the ride will soon begin. Do your best, your very best, go round and round again. And what are the letters? G R. What's the sound? Grr, grr, grr plus a gra. All lessons were discussed and enhanced with seat work, pair work, 
or group activities, performances, and product making synchronously while homework and supplementary worksheets were done as synchronously as the pupils reviewed the lessons offline. The school considers the parents as partners in the learning, teaching, development of the children. Teachers also ensure an open communication with parents who, like them, are equally groping their way to helping teach their own kids at home since the learners are now made to perform schoolwork and various tasks at home which needs the parents' guidance. The teachers also have to make sure that they give a daily update after each class, what we did in class today and what is expected next meeting. To cap off the school year, the school had its very first drive through recognition exercises last April 26 to 29, 2021 for the preschool completers. This was the best way for these precious little gems to be recognized and rewarded of all the effort and hard work that they have exerted in the challenging school year. Looking forward for the next school year, the school is preparing for the level one school accreditation for its preschool program, putting up of an online database program for the school library for the Capet kids to enjoy this service and facility. Since we are still experiencing this pandemic even up to now, with no assurance as to when this would all end, we still cling to God's unfailing promise to be there and guide us through all of this. One thing is certain, God holds the future and He knows what's best for us. And the fact that He has been faithful to Dhaka 10 years ago makes us all excited to know what more He can do in the years to come. We take each step with hope and excitement, every day a learning experience, and every tomorrow an opportunity to improve.